It all started during the quiet moonlit hours of the evening before I met her. The evening before the strangest of confessions. Excuse me, can you tell me where I can find a student named Ricky? Yeah, he's upstairs in the rectory. Thank you. Ricky. Catherine. Wait, my apartment's not far. All right. Take it off. No. I mean the necklace. Why? I don't like it. Uh, you're not religious? I'm spiritual. It's okay, come here. Not while you're wearing it. I always, always wear it. Well, you're not tonight. I want you to take it off. I want you to take it all off. Do you feel like you're corrupting a man of God? Um, I, I thought you were in the same religious studies as am I. Would you like me to leave? No. I want you here. But I want you here as a man. Not as a man of God. Your faith is strong. I don't think it's going to make a difference whether you're wearing a cross or not. Take it off. Just for tonight.
What? What did you just do? Are you strong enough not to fall? Yes. Yes, thank you. You, you broke my back? Yes. Did you know that I felt this from the moment we first met? I'm pulled irresistibly to you. Then I am to die. Yes. Your time here is almost over. It's kind of funny. Wine glass. It's in a ritual. Are you a person? Oh, Ricky. Sweetheart, of course I'm a person. Tell me, Catherine. When your human side died, did you meet God? Do you know what'll happen when your vampire existence ends? You'll be judged. Maybe God allowed us to happen. I don't know. I think you were seeking me out as a man of God. Maybe you didn't even know it. Are, are you afraid? Are you lonely? You're so beautiful. so special.
and there she was, the woman who would impact on me like a furious tempest, sitting quietly on the pews, watching me, and I hadn't noticed. Father, Where is my soul?